Alameda Raiders fans can breathe easier regarding two mainstays Thursday with defensive end Khalil Mack taking the field for practice and Sebastian Janikowski reportedly agreeing to a restructured contract. Mack, out with a knee injury the previous day, was suited up with his teammates and listed as a full participant on the injury report. There's no reason to think the Raiders' most valuable defensive player won't be in the lineup Sunday against the Tennessee Titans in Nashville. For complete Oakland Raiders coverage follow us on Flipboard. As for Janikowski, he again did not do much during the media window and was listed as a limited participant but according to an ESPN report agreed to reduce his salary from $4,050,000 to $3 million guaranteed with a chance to make back $250,000 should he convert 83% of his field goal attempts. Oakland restructured Sebastian Janikowski's contract, lowering his $4.05 million salary to $3 million fully guaranteed, per source. Also $250,000 for 83% FGs, Adam Schefter at Adam Schefter September 7, 2017 It amounts to a pay cut, with the guarantee not meaning much considering the $4,050,000 figure would have been guaranteed had Janikowski been on the roster Saturday. Like our Oakland Raiders Facebook page for more Raiders news, commentary and conversation. Whether Janikowski gets his $250,000 in incentives could hinge on the amount of long-distance field goals requested by coach Jack Del Rio. Janikowski's career accuracy rate is 80.4% and he's exceeded 83% four times underscore 86.4 in 2014, 91.2 in 2012, 88.6 in 2011 and 89.7 in 2009. Last season, Janikowski converted at an 82.9 rate 29 for 35. For his career, Janikowski has converted with 86.3% accuracy from 49 yards and an end is 55% 55 of 100 from 50 yards and beyond. If Janikowski back is unable to kick Sunday, the Raiders can either turn to Giorgio Vecchio, who they released at the final cutdown, or any one of a trio of place kickers that tried out Monday, Josh Lambeau, Mike Nugent or Marshall Cohn. Offensive coordinator Todd Downing said he did not anticipate any issues with left tackle Donald Penn after a 26-day holdout and a cameo appearance in his single preseason game. Donald is part of the fabric of this offense, Downing said. We consider ourselves a family and so when Donald came back, it was just having that string added to the quilt, cornerback and first round draft pick Gary and Conley was limited in practice, HASNT spoken to the media this week, is no lock to be active for his first NFL game. Let's just say defensive coordinator Ken Norton Jr. stopped well short of proclaiming Conley good to go. The few practices we've had with him he's looked really good, Norton said. You have to work off the rust a little bit, trying to get his footing right. It's been a while so he's got a lot of work to do. Asked how quickly the rust could be removed, Norton said, I don't know. You have to talk to the trainers. You have to play ball a long time and get a lot of practice in. Conley was a limited participant in practice with a shin injury. Fullback Jemai Zolawale went through stretching and light jogging with his teammates, but departed as soon as position group practice began and did not participate in practice. He HASNT made it through a practice since straining a quadriceps on a long run against Seattle on August 31st. If Olawale can't play, Downing said the Raiders have options even without another true fullback on the roster. There are a lot of different ways to get a lead blocker in the backfield, Downing said. We can motion guys, you can put different players back there. One thing that Jack Del Rio has instilled in this staff is being prepared for anything. The Raiders continue to list Marshall Newhouse and Vidal Alexander as sharing the first team role at right tackle, and downing WASNT giving that information up. There's still a lot of discussions between now and Sunday in terms of how we want to finitely do things come game day, Downing said. Wide receiver Amari Cooperney was upgraded from a limited participant to full and guard Colecchio Samele wrist ankle also went from limited to full. Linebacker Corey James Knee remained limited. Safety Keith McGillfoot remains a non-participant.